This is a Beekman's motor, or just a simple DC motor, and this is what we'll show you how to make. Alright, now you're going to need a couple of things. You will need some copper wire, and all I did was just take some wire, wrap it around this battery, just a couple of times around, and then I took the ends, wrapped them around the center, and pulled it straight. And then I took some sandpaper and just took off the insulation on one side only, but on both ends. That's how your motor will work the best. And got it balanced well so that it spins. To get your power source to make the motor spin, you will get a battery. two paper clips that have loops and, and these little openings for the wire to fit through, some magnets, and tape is optional. You don't have to have it. You, mu you can just take the paper clips and hold them to the battery, but if you want this strong for a long time, the paper clips will heat up. So for this video, I will use tape. All you need to do is just take some tape, attach it to the paper clip, and fix it to both ends of the battery. I need to do some adjusting to make sure that both paper clips are even. Next, take your magnet. I'm using about eight N45 neodymium magnets or neodymium. All right. Now, take your armature or wire, slip it through the openings in the paper clips. Give it a little tap. Second. And it should start spinning. Oh. Takes a little bit to get it all positioned right. Do some little adjustments. There we go. It's spinning. And just to show that it's not still from me hitting it, move the magnet in better place. Tiny little nudge, and it goes and spins. When you move the magnet away, it stops. Move it back. Get another little tap. And it should start going again. There we go. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.